the Alien Romulus trailer looks amazing. The last Alien movies I watched were actually Prometheus and Covenant. I did reviews of that on the channel. I love Alien. It's one of my favorite franchises. And I am so proud to say that it's probably one of the only franchises nowadays that I absolutely love that hasn't been just completely shafted in terms of entertainment factor. I don't know. I still love Jurassic Park. I still love... That's the closest thing I can find to Alien. But... The later Jurassic Park movies, I mean, especially like Fallen Kingdom and Dominion, while they're still kind of entertaining, it's just some person drank some mad, high octane, freaking Hercules beetle cat pissant. Like they, they, I don't know what happened. They heard the audience be like, "We want more dinosaurs." They're like, "All right, you know what? To hell with y'all. Let's just throw them in. Just, just toss, 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 toss." It just became ridiculous. But the Alien movies, say what you want about them, they do have their issues. The characters are quite stupid. But they're still, at the very least, entertaining and well-made and cinematic as hell. It still managed to feel like Alien with a little bit of a different ethereal and mysterious skin on it. And I understand that the majority of the movies, the Prometheus and Covenant, they just shine but the only reason that they do so is because it requires the characters being perpetually stupid for the plot to move along it doesn't matter because then you don't feel as bad when they get eaten but it was still amazing i love alien worlds i love world building in terms of like mysterious creatures and stuff and places that people have never been to before so i'm glad to see that this come back the xenomorphs themselves especially the different forms of them always make me feel special inside i like that this trailer doesn't really give away a lot it gives away just enough you can't really go wrong with alien movies Ooh, I love it. And that scream sounded like it wasn't just that random sound effect scream that everyone uses in movies over and over again to the point where you can recognize it. And I love the bloodbath scene here too. It looks like these are sleeper pods and something is eating people as they're waking up. Something made its way on the ship. <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay. I don't know anything about this, mind you. I don't know anything about Alien Romulus aside from what was just shown and there being a title called Alien Romulus in the works. But is this a continuation of Covenant? Walter? When we get there, will you help me build my cabin? The cabin on the lake. <laughs> Man, that is one of the best movie moments in this franchise because I mean we all knew what was going to happen with the whole switcheroo thing if you guys have not seen that you should definitely go check out that movie start with Prometheus <laughs> but this was so well done I love how they also put her heartbeat there but where we leave off we do remember if you've watched Covenant Walter is like yeah use a security code blah 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 and he's like Ugh. oh shit yeah I was holding that in for a while Look at you, my little tadpole, you, mm, you little saucy human fingers and shit. Mm. You know, sit with your brothers and sisters. You're going to feel a lot of faces when they wake up. I got food for days. Look how proud he is of himself bathing in his own silhouette. This is where we left off. And now we have the Alien Romulus trailer with people waking up in their pods. Because we do remember, it's, it's, it's very hard to recall this because they don't really say it a lot. And you're so enamored and enchanted with what's going on in the movie that you forget that there is actually a whole colony of people as cargo still on that ship of the Covenant. So seeing that there's sleeper pods here or sleeping pods, whatever you call them. And there's people screaming tells us that th this seems like a direct continuation from Covenant. It's probably warranted you guys making fun of me for not knowing this if it's already old news and super obvious, but that's that's what it's giving. Young people from a distant world must face the most terrifying life form in the universe. See, this is the confusing thing. It says Alien Romulus is a standalone film and takes place in a time not yet explored in the Alien franchise. Really? So I guess this is just heavily convenient and very coincidental. Run. See, that scene right there makes sense if you've watched Alien Covenant. Why else would there be a bunch of face huggers on a ship with people already on it? Now, these people are wearing these weird suits, which tells us that they're either preparing to go outside or they came. Wait a minute. 
do you think that this could still be tied into Alien Covenant and this ship just already killed everyone and people found the ship just floating in space just like they did in Alien Covenant where they came upon the ships or the first Alien movie and these people are like, what is this ship doing here? And they come on, don't know where, where David is, and they don't know that all these things are on it and David already hatched these things. That's crazy. Because by now, David would have made sure that all the people on the ship have the face huggers in them and they've been reproducing all this time and now they're like, new blood. <laughs> It's nasty as fuck. I'm sorry. Just like that is, is someone pulling that? Oh my. Oh my God, girl. You, you get that. Check me out. Got that Gok Gok 12,000 going on there. The new and improved version. Look, it's not me. They're doing the super close up shots of this man. Somebody's getting off on animating this because it, look, the, the, they, they're super close. I know it's meant to freak people out, but. You know, you know what I mean? Like, that's a lot. That's like all the way to your stomach. Is that it's, hold on, is that, what? I mean, we know the anatomy of the face huggers, but like seeing it, why am I salivating? What the, what the hell's wrong with me? Hold on, I'm so thirsty as hell right now. I'm sorry, Jesus. like all right i'm just gonna walk over here what are you guys doing oh my god how did you get in here how it, how did it get in there why did it go after her and not the other people that were right next to her who are those people what is going on i'm sorry that face hugger is an asshole it walked right past the people her back is to it there are two people there next to you unless they're artificial intelligence people and it's like you're asian you and your people eat shit like me all the time payback i'm kidding i mean i mean am i though <laughs> My people eat weird shit too. I can't even say anything. <laughs> the way it jumps us like bon appetit, bitch. <laughs> I mean, it does look bad. Like it just went straight for her. It went straight for her and not the other people. I swear to God, is this even, I'm surprised that this is not an Asian guy. Cause every time there's an Asian guy in a movie, he's always, you can, you know, he's gonna die. Especially if like he's the only Asian in the movie and it's an Asian dude, he's dead, he's dying. He's dying. You can already, oh, he's dead. But it's just very uncharacteristic of the face hugger. Unless she shoved her finger up its ass or something, there's no reason for it to be this vindictive against just her when there was literally two other people right next to it. Face huggers always aim for the people right next to it. And their their faces were to you. I mean, they could be robots, but I don't know. If they're human beings, I swear to God, this is racism. <laughs> We know that's not part of the scene. That was so poorly edited. She looks up and she's like, what's up? I'm super close. I don't know, I just feel like these are not in the same scene. This is probably someone who's gonna end up dying. I know this is off topic and a very weird thing to ask, but should I ask this? Hmm. Okay, you know how dogs, when you rub behind their ears and stuff, there's like pleasure points on animals that you can make them wag their tails and stuff? If you had a pet xenomorph, you know how they have the inner jaw that sticks out like this, right? Do you believe... Never mind, never mind. I, I was trying to... The way it was forming in my head, it makes sense, but then it doesn't matter how I, I say it. People are going to just like... Never mind, just... One of those things that will stay in my head. You know where I'm going with it though. It's it's a, it's a legitimate question. I'm a, I'm a human being. We question things. That's how we evolved. You can't you can't blame me. I'm a fox avatar, but I'm a human inside, and I have questions that probably will never be answered, which makes it even more mysterious and intriguing. Cause I would want to know that. Anyways. <laughs> I, legit I legitimately thought after seeing this that this was going to be some kind of joke because every other time I've seen, oh, the alien Romulus or alien projects come out, it's always someone on these YouTube videos that I've been tricked a few times with putting these fan-made clips together of movies that have already been released. I don't know about old YouTube, but it's just annoying as hell right now when people do that. And you know, because the dislike ratio when you still have the extension to see it, it, you can tell people are freaking annoyed by that. They don't like thinking that they've gotten a trailer. Like, And then the people who are doing it make you think that it's the actual trailer. They don't say fan-made trailer. They legit straight up say, hey, the official trailer. 
Like, who are you fooling? Stop. I mean, yes, you fooled a few people, but still, stop, really. Yeah, so I really thought that this was just another fan-made thing until I saw that it was released by the 20th Century channel, and I'm, I'm still thinking in that mode of skepticism, wondering if this is still just a joke or someone's pulling my leg. That's how much I don't trust people now. <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised that, no, this is the actual Alien Romulus movie. This is the trailer for the movie. And I am super excited. And people might be asking, what is there left to do with an alien movie? I don't know any other alien fan that asked that question. But for people on the outside wondering, what is there left in an alien movie to do? It's just going to be the same thing, rinse and repeat over and over again. And it's this weird phenomenon with alien movies, You with specifically the Xenomorph alien movies. You can make a dozen of these things and keep making them, and it will never lose its luster. You'll always have new people and discover new forms of the alien. Like if you've read some of the graphic novels or seen some of the graphic novels, one of the intriguing things about this franchise is that there's this never ending amount of content that you can glean from it because the Xenomorphs have this ability to take on the forms based on the host that they're munching on. So we see what happens when a Xenomorph parasitizes a dog or a cow and when they do humans, of course. We have lore for the engineers, I mean, there are just so many things that you can glean content from, so it never gets old. There's essentially a treasure trove of content that you can get from the Alien movies, and you know, especially if you make them for the next 30 years and you just keep the same tone of scary and people being stupid and screaming and blood splattering everywhere, or just change up the Xenomorph slightly or make them more intelligent or remake it in some different setting and present different forms and scenarios, and it will still work. You can still have it going on for decades if you want. This is... You'll always see something new based on the same franchise and it still feel the same. You just got to keep it interesting enough and new with new people. See, what worked for Covenant and Prometheus was the addition of the synthetics, David and Walter, and the synthetics being a very integral part of moving the story along. So it's not only you have to worry about the monsters that are hunting people, but also the monsters that people themselves made that are now hunting them. It's that good layer of complexity. Like, I love that. So yeah, there's like no reason for this to be botched. There are a lot of movies that can go in many different directions, but there's absolutely no reason why the Alien Romulus movie wouldn't work. For the type of movie that is, there's no excuse for you to be able to mess up something like this. Even the worst Alien movie of the franchise was still entertaining. Anyway, let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to seeing more Xenomorphs. It's been a long time coming. I'm ready to see some alien fingers wrap around some human craniums.